In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at using the Table View widget. That's the one that allows you to create a scrolling list of items, of data, and then you typically you can drill down, tap one and drill down and get some more detail. And so we're going to be taking a look at that. And uh, when you download the sample code for this, there will be a file called uh, main-complete.lua. That will have the final sample code in there. But to start with, open up main.lua and this is the one that you see right here. There's a lot of code already in here because I just went ahead and put in all of the stuff except for the widget stuff. So we'll just do the widget stuff together. And so uh, right up here, of course, we're requiring the widget library, then some variables. Here's a couple forward references to table view. We're going to just use a variable called table view for the table view widget itself and then associated text um, that'll come later on and then there's a big bunch of uh, data here in a table it's tables inside of a table called name data and we will be showing the names here in the list and we'll also be uh, using categories in a later video and see some of these are male female and then unknown because they're actually last names i'm not going to get into what this whole data all is but we'll be using that as we go on through these videos uh, also we're, here's a function called show data we'll be filling in the guts of that later uh, also table view listener render row row touched and then here's a function called setup display and this gives us a nice little background space here to create the table widget and then populate the widget with the data and then this associated text thing just basically a display new text that we'll be using later on and then the final piece of code in the file is setup display it just calls this uh, function right here so let's go ahead and just run this uh, just to see what it is as the default Okay, and there we go, there's our background, and we are all set to go. So let's create the table view widget itself. And so that variable was table view equals widget dot new table view. And then this is a table with lots of stuff in it. So we're gonna start with left and top and width and height and we'll come we'll uh, fill in a couple more things in a moment so these these four values here are where we want the table view widget to be and in this case we're going to go ahead and just uh, create one the exact size of the screen and so i'm using the variables that were from the very top of this file and so screen left, screen top, and there's also a screen top SB, which takes the status bar into account. It'll pop, pop it right down underneath the status bar. And we're going to go the complete width of the device. So that's screen width. And the complete height of the device minus the status bar. Okay, so we have the location of the table view widget itself. We need two more things. We need one of how we're going to render the rows because we're going to be adding rows in a moment and it needs to know what function do I use to render those so you can see them on the screen. And the other one is what's the function that if you tap a row, um, something's going to happen. And so we're going to put those in here. So we do on row render equals, and we've got that uh, function up there that we're going to fill in in a minute called render row. And then on row touch equals row touched okay so that's all we need right now to create the table view and in fact if i run this you will see it uh, but there's nothing there yet so it's just white but you do notice that the background that we put in there is actually gone well it's still there but it's behind the table view itself to populate the table view widget we're going to loop over that name data table that we had up at the beginning so now we'll use table view colon insert row and this is another one of those things where it takes a table for all the parameters first one is category equals false it's just a plain data row not a category row category row is like the little title rows 
row height equals 40. And that could be anything you want if you want. In fact, we'll, we'll play with that in a minute. Row color equals, and this one is a table in a table. I'm going to just paste it in here. So the default is 255, 255, 255, which is just white. And then line color equals, and this is just a simple table. Let's say 220, 220, 220, which is kind of a gray. And this is the line that is in between each one of the pieces of data. Now, you might be thinking I shouldn't be hard coding values like this, and that is true. And in fact, we'll create uh, variables for those when we get to one of the next videos. But for now, this will work fine. And I should be able to, I believe, go ahead and save this and run it. And there's an error. What have I done wrong here? Probably a comma that I've forgotten or forgot to close the for loop. All right, let's try this again. And there we go. We are close. We actually have rows, but there is nothing in them. I mean, you can see the lines. And find, in fact, if we uh, want to change that line color to something else, now you can see that changes that. If we want to change the uh, row height to double that row, double that size, and we can do that also. Okay, so you can see how just changing these things here uh, actually changes the table view widget right away. So that's really cool. I'm going to change this back here. So why isn't this showing any of our data? We're inserting the rows, but we're not actually, we're telling it there's a row there, but it doesn't know what's supposed to be in there. And that is what this on row render, the render row, that is what that is for. So we're going to go here to render row and fill this in.